the Not Your Grandma's Moss Pole and Wednesday come back because I will be potting up this beauty, um, taking her out of dirt, putting her in semi-hydroponics. She is absolutely in love with semi-hydro. I filmed these a few days ago and we already have two new leaves. So um, I hope y'all enjoy Not Your Grandma's Moss Pole. Thanks for coming. Watch this. No bugs, no pests, no dirt. I love dirt, but it needs to stay outside. So, really messy. So, I'm gonna make another poll today. I am in pursuit of making the perfect climbing pole. Piece of PVC pipe. This was half inch PVC pipe. And I'm gonna try this little thin, that's like jute. Leave this part, obviously, because it uh, can go in the water. Oh, thanks for coming, by the way. Yep, that cut it. Okay, so I have a couple of kinds of glue. I have this flexible glue for every project, and then I have spray glue. Okay, so here is my twisted sisal twine. This was cheap. It was this whole thing for like $3, disintegrating in front of my eyes. And I was having a vacuum, and y'all know how I am about upkeep. These plants need to be easy now. Um, okay, so this is a little tiny thing, and um, kind of a cool thing if it worked. So I'm just gonna and I like it. Ooh, that is woo, that stinks. Mmm, mm mmm. I don't think I can do spray glue. No. Mm mmm. I'm gonna go get gloves. That glue was quite toxic. Now, so the thing about glue that's always been pretty horrible is it takes so long to dry. Like for a project like this, Ooh, I can tell this is gonna be a really cute moss pole. I don't know what else to call it, maybe a climbing pole. First one I did is see how slippery this is, and then you just kinda of get going, but it just kinda of slipped. Ooh, what do you have on hand? I have never found, I still haven't found the perfect glue. I like that better. Just a little something to kinda of hold it. Um, because once I wrap this, I don't really want it moving around. The first, look at that, guys. Look at the texture. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. So I like the texture of it. I like how easy it is to kind of wind around the pole. I like how thin the pole is. I like how light the pole is. It still has a little heft. I'm gonna add, so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of adding a little glue along there and then it's kind of squishing in. So what's happening is I am finding the plants that give me the most joy. Climbers, master bedroom. So um, it's really important to me. Your master bedroom is your haven. And so it's important to have candles in there and um, just make it just figured out. I want it to be aesthetically pleasing pole that's not super expensive. And it would be really cool if it was somehow expandable or like this is a half inch um, pole and then you can go up to a three quarters inch and I think you can put them inside of each other so that would be cool too. Was this stick is not perfectly white. It's more of like a creamy color, which is I think better than white white if you're doing it for this project. I'm sure you can hear them in the background. So three of my children homeschool and they're out of class now. But it's not them, it's just this online school is so good and the education is so strong. I'll link it below. It's called veritaspress.com and I don't recommend it for younger kids because they have to sit at the computer and pay attention and the teacher can see them and grade them on participation and if they're a little bit younger, you need to be sitting there too because 
they won't pay attention. Mine, my, mine are finally figured out. A little glove holder on our um, second refrigerator, and these hold like it holds like 500 gloves, and I use them every day. Jute. Ooh, that was awesome. Okay, so I figured fi out finally. Well, that I'm gonna just cut this off. Any preferred way to silence? Press four. Or maybe four. <laughs> A little dot of glue up there to kind of hold it. Okay, see, I like it. I don't. I'm not. Totally in love with the very end. I can wrap that in a little piece of brown tape. But as far as the texture and the kind of, I wanted this pull is the tape. See this tape, how it kind of looks like natural. So for now, I'm just gonna cut off a little piece. See, it just kind of covers it, and it doesn't put this on there. And then I'm gonna wrap this one around kind of tightly. That's the end. It's okay. Okay, so, and then the height on that pole is a good maybe 24 inches total. So, we shall see. Good for today. Don't forget to come back Wednesday. We'll be potting up the plant with the Not Your Grandma's Moss Pole. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like and subscribe and comment. And boop, have a great day. And we'll see you Wednesday. Thanks, bye-bye. <laughs>